Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to another interesting news. Mr. Romanos Ejikeme, the father of the student who manipulated a unified tertiary matriculation exam UTME result, has tendered an apology to Nigerian Nigerians and the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board JAM. Ejikeme, who has been accused who was who had accused Jam of discrimination and threatened to sue the board, said he didn't know that his daughter lied to him. In an interview with the Nigerian Television Authority NTA, he said he regretted his utterances in the heat of the controversy. While I realized what she did, it was late. I regretted all my earlier actions on this matter. I apologized to Nigerians and Jam, and I still beg Jam and Nigerians to pardon her, he said. It was reported that a committee of inquiry set up by the government of Anambra to thoroughly investigate the controversy, controversy around the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Result, UTME, result of EGKM Mesoma, submitted its f- findings to the state government. In the committee report obtained by reporters on Saturday, the panel wrote that EGKM joined Mesoma admitted that she manipulated the fake result herself using her phone. The committee also recommended that the school girl tenders apology to the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAMP. The State Commissioner for Information, Paul Umoso, confirmed the submission of the panel report in a release on Friday. He said the Committee of Inquiry set up by the Government of Anambra State to thoroughly investigate the JAMP in Mesoma's matter and submitted its report. Find attached below the unauthor- the unadulterated detailed report. It was reported on the 5th of July that the Anambra State Government set up an eight-member committee of inquiry to investigate the allegation that a unified tertiary matriculation examination candidate in the state, Mesoma Ejikeme, doctored a result. The examination body, Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAM, I described the result as fake, adding that its internal investigation revealed that it was done with Mesoma's collaboration. The state government, however, faulted the, the way Jam had handled the situation, which, which has become a major controversy in the country with people taking sides. The state government faulted Jam for going on social media to describe Mesoma's result as fake while an investigation into the matter was still ongoing. In a statement issued to journalists, the State Information Commissioner Paul also said the new committee would be chaired by Professor Indemili Inwoyelu. The committee included Professor Mercy Okonkwo, Professor Ngozi Chuma Ode, Professor Madhu Abuchi Duko, Professor Jaja Owanebu, Reverend Sa, Professor Mary Felicia Opara, Reverend Kano, Reverend Dr. Uchena Umefiakem, Mr. Chukwemeka Fred Agbata, Managing Director, Anambra Information Communication Technology Agency. The statement had read, The Anambra State Government had, as for obvious reasons, been following the JAMP Mesoma AGK matter with keen interest. It is important to note that Ms. Mesoma AGK went to the office of the Anambra State Commissioner for Education, Professor Ngozi Chuga Udema, with a result to protest that the Joint Administration and Matriculation Board didn't, recog- didn't recognize her as a candidate with the IS score. The commissioner in turn called Jam to confirm her claim and she was told that Mesoma's result was forged. The Joint Admission and Matriculation Board is a Nigerian entrance examination board for the tertiary level institution. The board conducts entrance unified tertiary matriculation examination for prospective undergraduates into Nigerian universities. The board is also charged with the responsibility to administer similar examination for applicants to Nigerian public and private monotechnics, polytechnics, and college of education. All these candidates must have, obta- must have obtained the West African Senior School Certificate conducted every year, yearly by the West African Examination Council, WAEC, or equivalent National Examination Council, NECO, Nigeria, School Certificate examination. The Parona Registrar was Michael Saedu Angulu, 
who served from inception in 1978 with 90, until 1986. The current Registrar of JAMP is Professor Isia Oluyade, who was appointed by President Mamadou Buhari in August 2016. JAMP 2023 registration has commenced on the 14th of January 2023 and scheduled to close on the 14th of February 2023. JAMP CBT centers are the various locations and centers in Nigeria approved for by JAM for the registration of the UTM examination. There are various JAM CBT centers locations in the 36 states in Nigeria, including the Federal Capital Territory FCT. The Joint Admission and Matriculation Board is here to officially approve a certified CBT practice platform for candidates. However, with the growing concerns over the performance of candidates in this computer based test, Considering the fact that Nigeria is a developing country with a sizable number of schools, school children having little or no access to computers and internet. A number of independent contributors has, however, provided practice platforms with thousands of past questions to help candidates prepare and boost their performance in the actual test. Every year, the Joint Examination and Matriculation Board conducts one of the most credible examinations in Nigeria that determines whether a student will be admitted to a tertiary institution of learning. A record number of more than 1.7 million candidates registered to the 2022 examination. The, the Unified Tertiary Matriculation Examination is only valid for a year with a score of 0 to 400. The examination is a test of knowledge, speed, and accuracy. It consists of 180 questions with a time frame of 2 hours. The subject's combination vary based on a candidate's desired course of study, although English language is compulsory for all candidates. The examination is conducted for international candidates who wish to be admitted into any Nigerian tertiary institution by the West African Examination Council, WIAC. After the conduct of the year's examination, the board sits and deliberates on the court of mark for universities, polytechnic, college of education, and, mono and monotechnics, often universities with the highest court of mark, while other institutions require lower marks. One of the 2023 candidates of the UTME exam, Ms. Ejikeme Joy, has allegedly manipulated a jam result and has confessed to the public that she was the one that did it. Our father, Mr. Romanos Ejikeme, has also tendered an apology to Nigerians and the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAMB. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I will see you on the next news. Bye for now.